Hello everyone, welcome to the Black Hills and Eastern channel. The intent of this channel is to cover certain aspects of model railroading, but we're going to explore other subjects as well, things that we like here in southeastern South Dakota, such as firewood processing and heat, and heat technology, cooking and baking, homesteading in general, and today we're taking a look at old John Deere tractors. This video comes to you from our location in southeastern South Dakota. We find our John Deere 445 garden tractor and Model 47 two-stage snowblower moving freshly fallen snow before Christmas in 2022. The John Deere 445 is a 22 horsepower Kawasaki 617cc two-cylinder liquid-cooled gasoline fuel-injected machine. The motor drives a hydraulic pump which supplies pressure for running the tridrostatic transmission as well as power steering, PTO, and accessory hydraulic outlets. It features a locking rear differential. The John Deere 400 series tractors were produced in John Deere's Horicon Works facility in Horicon, Wisconsin between 1992 and 2001. The 445 sold new for $9,795 in 1995. Deer produced three or four tractors in this line, depending on how you're counting. They were the 415, which was a European export model, the 425, a naturally aspirated gasoline machine, the 445, a, an electronic fuel-injected gas machine, and the 455 diesel. A popular option was four-wheel steer. This 445 shows a very high serial number indicating that it may have been one of the final units produced in 2001. It thereby avoids the common problem with early units with the plastic cam gear failing and causing catastrophic uh, engine failure. This particular tractor came out fitted with an aftermarket hard side cab and headlight bar mounted on the quick hitch. The cab has been removed and sold as it was not needed for our small operation. This tractor is operating with a shaft-driven two-stage Model 47 snowblower. The shaft attaches to the same power takeoff location as the mower deck is in, is in the summertime. Power is transmitted from this location using a long shaft and a carrier bearing mounted underneath the nose of the, the uh, tractor. A pair of knuckles on the blower itself allow the blower to be lifted and lowered on the quick hitch while operating. Let's go now out to the yard and see this classic garden tractor at work.
do you use a 400 series John Deere compact tractor to move snow or do some other work on your operation? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You might just see a train video or two coming up. Thanks for watching everyone.